Hey everyone, JC StarCraft here, bringing you Game 4 of the Craft Cup Number 5 Finals between Night End and Mana. So, action getting started here on Scrap Station. Uh, Mana going to be spawning as the Red Protoss in the bottom position, I guess you could call it. And Night End spawning as the Green Protoss in the top position. Scrap Station, of course, one of the longer rush distances. There are two rocks in the middle. For those of you who might not be familiar with it, although I think everybody is familiar with this map at this point. Um, very prone to potentially some sort of early proxy cheese going on as there are multiple places to hide a proxy pylon. You should be seeing mana, both mana and night end. Their scouts are going to go out um, and try to find it on their scouting pattern. Or maybe not, maybe night end is just confident that he can just win it straight up. And he's just going to be going across, uh, getting a scout out what he perceives to be pretty early. So not going to be doing a scouting pattern. I have seen a lot of players kind of scout things out and drop down to double check. There's nothing hidden in their base. And Naiden, I think, just going to rely on the fact that if he runs in and sees anything suspicious, that, you know, maybe he should start getting ready for some sort of early cheese. And Naiden showing that he, he has a very strong build against his opponent. Uh, Mana has been going with what I would say is a very traditional or more standard um, Link Stalker Colossus combination, uh, but meanwhile, Night End has been really pushing for the Charge Lot and Mortal combination with Phoenixes to support, and really has been winning a lot of decisive battles, pretty even army battles. But it just seems like those Phoenixes are making a huge difference as they are able to not only draw fire away from the Stalkers who have to take them down because the Colossus can't hit them at all, or they um, and they also provide the Phoenixes also provide. Excellent scouting for Night End, doesn't really need observers, um, can just kind of fly around, pick off uh, his opponent's uh, probe line, and also eke out small economic advantages as well. So it looks like uh, Mana going to be dropping down that proxy pylon right here, uh, of course, and uh, should be pretty interesting to see if that's going to work out for him. Uh, just running in right there and pretending like it never happened, ho-hum, he's now going to come in and harass and hopefully distract his opponent as well. Uh, should be interesting to see whether or not Night End is going to try to scout that out and run around with the Zealot to scout around his base for that proxy pylon. So Mana going with a very standard build as well. Cyber Next Cord going down. Going to try to get that uh, three gate robo or four, possibly even a four gate robo right now if he is throwing down that early pro proxy pylon. And, and there is a little bit of lag going on, I guess. A lot of lag going in most of the servers, one of the big complaints about the weekly cups, unfortunately, has been the amount of lag in each game, so sometimes played by that game here as well. Uh, so if you want to see lag-free games, I definitely say check out the MLG games being broadcast, I think, or were originally broadcast by Husky, HD, um, Day9, and now being, re, uh, being uploaded by sc2cast.com on their YouTube channel. A lot of very interesting play. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, <laughs> I don't know if Night End was in that tournament or not. I actually don't think that he was, considering that he's playing this game. The Craft Cup, which I think was held actually during the MLG. So I'm not sure what kind of Protoss play was going there. I'm trying to go through all those games as well. Uh, but this has been, for me, the first time that I've seen that kind of strategy. And I think for Mana, of course, who has one of the, uh, one of the top Protoss players, in the entire world probably hasn't run into Night End's Protoss strategy very much as he has been losing every battle. So Night End now going to be scouting around for everything and it looks like, oh, Night End is able to find, is just running around and does find Mana's proxy pylon. So unfortunately Warp not even close to being finished or is actually close to finish but not going to be in time, I don't think, before these Zealots are able to take out the pylon and mana are going to have to temporarily give up on that idea. Probably going to be throwing down another proxy pylon. Yes, that pylon does go down for Nida. Nida did have a sentry out in this game to hold off, uh, kind of choke things out in case he really needed to. And it looks like what is about to happen right now. Um, another proxy pylon is going down for mana at this point. So Nida is going to start defending, getting his immortal out and getting his two gate robo up. Uh, Probably going to be throwing down that Stargate and getting the Phoenixes yet again. So trying to get out his units as soon as possible. Is Warp being researched? Yes, it is for him as well. And now it looks like Mana going to be pushing in with what looks like a 4-gate. So going to be 4-gating in through uh, through the right now. And will Night End have enough at this point to really hold things off? 
uh, really has only maybe a few force fields to hold things down for him. Getting out another sentry, which will be very critical in this battle if he can get it off. Looking at the army tab, both players are pretty even, although Mana does have a significant number more stalkers out onto the field. Throwing down yet another proxy pylon there as well. And this is going to be very interesting uh, it, to see if Night End can hold this off. Multiple force fields are going down. Um, free shots on that Immortal. The Immortal trying its very best is able just to take up barely one of the stalkers. And Mana's force is now being driven into the corner. Unfortunately, going to be unable to kite for a while. So multiple stalkers now coming out for Night End. Which I, he's being forced to make stalkers. Probably not so thrilled about that. And unfortunately, it looks like what is going on down here, more units are being reinforced. Uh, there are two proxy pylons going down, but Night End uh, barely surviving with this Immortal. Uh, really wants to let the shields recharge, moving it to the back as he tries to micro away. And just try to pump out as many Immortals as possible. Uh, I think very interesting, as I, I don't think I've seen very many Stalkers from Night End this entire game. But finally being forced to pump some out as his opponent is doing a very uh, good 4-gate push on him. And running in here to take out the... One of the proxy pylons uh, going to be pushing down and probably going to be able to take out this force as well. So Night End actually up a pretty decent amount, 64 to 47. Um, his forces are streaming in from behind and going to be retreating while he bulks up and waits for this 30 mortal to join join the field. Uh, multiple force fields are going down to try to hold off the stalkers from running away. And Mana is going to lose this pretty badly at this point. So probably has to give up on this proxy strategy. Going to be losing yet another proxy pylon and just trying to warp in as many units and kind of reinforce. He does not, unfortunately, have the same tech pattern um, as uh, Night End, who did already get his Robo Bait down. So this two-gate Robo, a very potent combination against the four-gate, the Stargate about to be thrown down as well. And unfortunately for this game, I'm, I'm starting to think that, well, I hit a button and I look, I'm looking at Night End's camera right now. Sorry about that. Um, unfortunately for this game, uh, I think I hit S or I hit two. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it looks like uh, mana uh, not going to be caught in a good position right now and night end just pushing in uh, so two gate robo very strong play from night end very good very good micro from him to kind of get rid of the early stalker push in his base and now just going to be pushing ahead uh, mana forced to retreat and get out of there pulling off all his probes to do some sort of damage against his opponent but I just think this is not going to be enough phoenixes are already coming in graviton beam holding it up for no reason just to show that it can uh, I'm trying to take one force out, but it looks like Mana just losing a ton of his units, um, forced to pull off some probes, and while that might hold out in the short run, while it looks like he is able to finally defend, <laughs> um, but does give, doesn't really enjoy PvP as much. Um, although I do have to give it to Night End, this wasn't a mirror match, this wasn't just a purely micro game. Night End stuck to his build and had a very effective build against his opponent. Uh, Mana even trying to foregate in this last game to win, but Night End still coming out ahead. So props to Night End wins back-to-back -back Craft Cups, a very, a very formidable opponent to go up against. I would love to see more of his play, and this has been JCS StarCraft signing off.